Welcome to our channel, where you can find the most recent news and stories about Princess of Wales, Princess Catherine and her royal family. Today, we bring you breaking news. Prince William and Princess Catherine paid tribute to Queen Elizabeth through the Earthshot Prize, a touching story behind. During their visit to the United States, Prince William and his wife, Kate Middleton, paid tribute to the late Queen Elizabeth II. On November the 30th, shortly after arriving in Boston for a three-day visit, ahead of the Earthshot Prize presentation, the two paid respect to the Queen. The royal couple has not visited America since 2014. This was also their first vacation since the death of Prince William's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, on September the 8th. Conversely, some five decades prior to the arrival of Prince William and Middleton, the Queen herself had toured Boston. As a result, the excursion was tinged with recollections of her. It took little time for Prince William to make an announcement after safely arriving in Boston. He expressed his joy at returning to the United States and thanked the Governor of Massachusetts and his wife for their hospitality. Prince William also expressed gratitude to the people of Massachusetts and Boston for paying tribute to the Queen. He mentioned the Queen's visit to Boston in 1976, which he said she recalled warmly. The Earthshot Prize, according to Prince William, was inspired by the Queen's spirit, which she had handed down to him. My grandma was certainly one of life's realists, he said, and I am as well. It's why the year before we founded the Earthshot Prize with the goal of creating a genuinely global platform to bring hope and critical enthusiasm as we strive to rescue our Earth's natural future. The three-day journey to Boston by Prince William and Kate Middleton concluded with the lavish Earthshot Prize presentation on December the 2nd. However, the two planned a complete agenda for the vacation in addition to the ceremony. The first day began with them landing at Boston Logan Airport in Massachusetts. Following his remarks and respect to the Queen, Prince William and Middleton headed directly to an Earthshot opening ceremony. The two delivered a speech before turning Boston green in preparation for the Earthshot Prize presentation. Following that, they attended a game of basketball between both the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat. Many admirers have commented on the event after posting on Twitter. What a wonderful event and cause. Thank you for everything you do. And it was wonderful to see you, Princess Kate, and the youngsters in Boston at the City Hall Plaza. You are so lovely on the inside and out, and you are a terrific mother, much like Diana, who adored her boys. We love it when you post images of your kids for all of us to view, and we can't wait for Charlotte to become our little princess. To be honest, while I'm not a fan of the royal family, I respect your environmental efforts and willingness to watch the game courtside rather than in a suite, and a little envious of the latte. On their final day, Prince William and Kate Middleton parted ways. Middleton made a trip to Harvard Center on the developing child, while Prince William joined the Kennedys for a visit to the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum. Prince William established the Earthshot Prize in 2020. The coveted award is given to five innovators each year, with one winner selected from each of the five categories of wildlife preservation, air quality, ocean revival, waste-free living, and climate action. The event was a huge show with several famous attendees and a green carpet. The costumes worn by Prince William and Kate Middleton were stunning. When they released the first images of their arrival on their official tweet, Royal supporters are eager to comment. Welcome to the United States, and thank you for bringing this essential topic to the notice of the entire world. Hashtag Earthshot Prize. Congratulations on another great year of the Earthshot Prize, Prince William. You both make us really proud. Gorgeous, thank you for your efforts to save our world. We must all contribute. You are our mentors. The royal family is adored in the United States. Prince William looked dapper in a tuxedo, while Catherine looked stunning in a lime green gown with an emerald necklace. 
Likewise, a wide audience of celebrities and political people attended the occasion. David Beckham, Remy Malik, Shailene Woodley, Ellie Goulding, Daniel Day Kim and US Senator Mitt Romney with the people in attendance. Catherine and Prince William posted a brief video introducing the five prize winners. Fans showed a lot of interest in this event and they wished the couple and the winners all the best. Congratulations to everyone who won. Also, congratulations to the finalists. Everyone is doing such a wonderful thing to assist the environment. Congratulations, excellent work. They were also my decisions. I am quite pleased of all of the finalists, as well as the organisation and the Prince and Princess of Wales. Congratulations to all of the finalists and winners, who are all genuinely remarkable individuals working to rescue our world. Prince and Princess of Wales, you've done an amazing job. I hope Boston got to see how special you are and to the UK. The Star Studded Earthshot Prize presentation concluded their tour to Boston. Social media always has two sides of the story. During their journey, they also received a lot of unpleasant news. Meghan requested that her sister-in-law participate on her show earlier this month, according to a report. Richard was questioned if he believes Catherine would appear on Meghan's podcast, to which he said, I do not even think so. I don't get the idea that they have so much of a connection right now, he continued. Maybe that will improve, but I believe the evidence indicates that ties are still tense. According to the expert, both Catherine and William were concerned about Meghan and Harry's dissatisfaction with the royalty until they chose to depart in 2020. Richard remarked that while he understood the couple's frustrations, he disagreed with their method to coping with them. It was effectively to depart Britain, violate the agreement between the British people and the royal family members, and, of course, raise an army on the British media, he explained. Tweeters provided several comments regarding the material posted by the user of Twitter. I hope Catherine doesn't dignify archetype podcasts with a single comment. It's just blah, 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 with no actual substance to back it up. Meghan's major claims appear to be money and being heard by people in order to persuade them of how great and compassionate she is. She could also work in radio silence, the odd 10 minute job with a charity for photo opportunities, and then she's gone in the winds until the next archetype podcast blabfest is really monotonous, particularly when she spends the majority of the airtime praising herself on the back. Thank you for watching today's video. What do you think about this news? Please share your thoughts with us. Goodbye for the time being.